Hey, what is up? It's your boy Spence Talks uh, back with another video. It's been over a month at least since my last video. It's been a while since you guys heard my voice. I'm quite reluctant to do any speaking content because my phone broke and the mic on my camera isn't great. I just didn't want to put out any content that would, you know, sound muffled or sound weird. Make sure you let me know how the mic sounds right now. Make sure you let me know how the audio sounds right now. So I know that I'm good to go and keep making content. The clips from the start of the video were when we're back in Virginia. Uh, that's actually when I started making this video. It's almost like at least a month ago now. Things just kept on going wrong. This has been a rough time. But Virginia was a weird experience. We're in the middle of nowhere. The closest Walmart to our Airbnb was a 40 minute drive. Right now, we are in Florida. It's been nice out here, the weather's nice. The Airbnb, this is probably the, the best Airbnb we've stayed in um, since we've been on the road, in my opinion. The bedrooms are big, spacious. It's just nice, it's just nice. The, the architecture, the whole thing is just beautiful, man. The balcony overlooking the sitting area. Um, the kitchen is spacious. Two dining rooms, hella toilets. There's a swimming pool. It's just, it's really nice. Couldn't ask much more. Got a nice roommate. Just, I'm, I'm, I'm happy right now, man. I'm in a good place. I'm in a good place. It's taken me too long to make this video. It's been at least like two months since the comment was posted. But um, I guess that gives me the chance to experience more and have a more informed view for this video. But let's waste no more time. These are the culture shocks that I've had in the US and Canada. The first big one for me is patriotism, okay? Everyone here is so patriotic compared to the UK. You never forget. You never ever forget that you're in the United States of America. There's humongous flags everywhere. I mean, literally everywhere. You can't go like a mile without seeing a huge US flag. Same thing with Canada, but it's more so in the US. Like in Canada, you have like a couple flags. There are still flags, way more than in the UK, but the US just do it differently. Another thing is the singing of the national anthem. Basketball games back home. Uh, I never once had to sing the national anthem. I've been here just over three months. We've had to stand for the national anthem so many times. It's interesting, I guess. It just feels a bit weird, um, obviously not ever doing it before, but I guess you I guess you get used to it over time. They love their flag, they love their colors, they love their national anthem, and they love America, but that's pretty much it. Number two is the size of everything. Food comes in ridiculous quantities. Packs are like 30, 100. Things you consider buying in bulk in the UK, it's probably standard by here. They have huge highways or motorways here. So like in the UK, I remember like, the average motorway is like what, three lanes max, right? Here? I feel like the minimum is like four lanes. Especially back in Toronto, you have like five lanes going this way, right? Five lanes going forward. Then you have like a little separation. And then you have another four lanes going in the same direction. So you have nine lanes all going in the same direction. Why do you need nine lanes? What is the, why, why do you ever need nine lanes, bro? People here, the people here are big. I don't mean like width per se, but like people are taller here too. From my experience, I see a lot more tall people here compared to the UK. I'm not talking about like the basketball scene again, because that would just be unfair, okay? But I'm talking like just generally in public, just a lot of tall people. You just don't see that much that much in the UK. Number three is the accent and the construction and meaning of words, right? This one really annoys me. Let's start with letters, right? When I go to like a fast food place, for example, when I go to McDonald's, right? I'm there, I order like, I don't know, a quarter pounder, right? I like my quarter pounder with a bit of lettuce on it, right? I'd be like, yo, excuse me. Can I please have some lettuce on my burger as well? She'd be like, what? Uh, can I have some lettuce, some lettuce on my burger, please? What? My boy has to go, lettuce, lettuce. <laughs> Bro, it's so stupid. Lettuce and lettuce, all right? Lettuce, so why do I have to say lettuce? For you to understand, I'm trying to say lettuce, but I don't actually get it. Bro, I'm in, a, I'm in a fast food setting, right? There, there are very few things I could be asking for. I'm asking for lettuce. Please, glass some lettuce. This one's a bit more niche because hey, there are four guys from Australia and everyone else is from Canada. It's how everyone says water. Us guys from the UK, we say water, obviously. In the US and Canada, they were like, water, water. Australia, Australia, they get water. Have some water. Have some water. Have some water. Water. I can't do it. Water, 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 water. Have some water. Have some water. <laughs> Bam. I'm butchering every single accent, but I don't care. The point is, the accents are different. It's funny, it's cool. It's nice to be surrounded by people who do things, say things, understand things differently from you. Part of my journey here, um, understanding these people. In the UK, we're polite. We're good humans, right? We, we ask for things, right? We say, can I have some, right? Your friend has some crisps, you say, can I have some? Please? You know, you even had a please, because you know, we're, we're civilized human beings. In Canada, we don't do that here, apparently, okay? We don't do that here. I can get some. Yo, I can get some. 
That's what they say, bro. I, I kid you not. They don't even ask. They, in their head, they is asking, right? I can get some. I can get some. That is a statement. That is telling me that you can have some. Okay? If you have a packet of Chris, and I put my hand in, I say, I can get some. All right? You're a bully. Okay? You're a bully. We don't do that here. Okay? We don't ask him. We, 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 I can get some. Okay? I can get some. Okay? And then they'll add your name in. Okay? I can get some spans. They have that little questioning tone at the end of their voice. Right? I can get some. I can get some? Question mark? No! No, you can't get some. Hmm? How about you try, can I get some, please? It's not even, I can get some, please. It's, I can, because that wouldn't even make sense. I can get some. I can get some. Boom. No. No, you can't. Okay? Stay away from man's snacks. Stay away from man's snacks. Pussy. Panda up. I don't like it. I can get some. No. That's over. Can I get some? Please. And you still can't. Pussy. Toilet versus washroom. Okay? In the UK, we say toilet. Can I go to the toilet? Where is the toilet? Can you show me the direction of the toilet? Okay? I just want to use the toilet, yeah? In Canada and the US, you have to say washroom. Excuse me, please. You got something? I'm a polite Brit, right? Excuse me, please. Can you please show me where the toilet is, right? Sorry? That one, it really annoys me when they say so. Can you show me the toilets, please? I'm looking for the toilet. Oh! Do you mean the washroom? Do you mean the... Yes, you know I mean the washroom, right? Because I'm looking for the toilet and the toilet's in the washroom. Then yes, I'm looking for the washroom, right? Boom. Ah, you mean the washroom? Yes, I mean the washroom. Where is it? So last but not least, number four, the way people drive. The roads feel so unsafe here. The way people drive, bro, the roads feel so unsafe here. They can't stay in the lanes. They, 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 they struggle. They struggle. They can't stay in the flipping lane. People just swerve. They just swerve between lanes, right? You see that? They go... See the indicators? You know the indicators? Yeah, they don't, we don't use those here. We don't use those here. This is just for decoration. People just be swerving. Zoom! You want to change lanes? Zoom! Bro, they just, they just they, they check the mirror and they know what? Zoom! Bro, I can't do this anymore. I, I enter the car, seatbelt on. Second seatbelt on. Third seatbelt on. Fourth seatbelt on. And I still don't feel safe. I still don't feel safe. Bro, it's, it's, it's scary. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. You see people on like lane number eight, right? Oh shit, I'm about to miss my exit on lane number one. No indicator swerving through seven lanes. Is that normal? No. Is that safe? No. Bro, <laughs> how am I not dead? Because you guys, you guys are praying for me. Keep praying for me, please. I'm actually so scared. What makes it worse, especially in Canada, okay, is their system to get a license, right? It's so long-winded. They have to go through like, I'm pretty sure three separate tests. They have the G1, G2, G3. Point is, it's like three or four times as long as it is in the UK. You still can't drive. How? Think about your life. Are you not embarrassed? I fear for my life on your roads. Please fix it. Please. 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 And also, drive, drive on the left side of the road, okay? Just, just do it. It's not that, it's not that hard. Pussy. Oh, mate, I think that's it, bro. That's, those are being the, the culture shocks I've had in the US and Canada. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the flipping video. Um, I sure as hell enjoyed making it. Thank you for the comment. Um, as you can see, comment what you want to see, I will get to it. It might take me two months. It might, be, it might take me two years. Hell, I might never, okay, I'm, I'm, I will do it. The point is, it might take me a while to get to it, but I will do it at the end of the day. If you have any more questions, if you have any more things you want to see, what things you want to know, any things you want me to make a video on, let me know in the comments, bro. You know, you know the deal, okay? Um, yeah, I'll get to it someday in the future. Thank you for watching. It's been your boy Spence Talks. Um, if you're not subscribed already, subscribe to the channel, bro. What are you doing? S subscribe to the channel, bro. Um, it's free. It's been your boy Spence Talks. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.